Right. Hello everybody! Today we'll be showing you a few tips about how to survive an earthquake. So, enjoy! First you need to know that an earthquake comes really unexpectedly. Go underneath a strong surface like a table. Duck! Protect your inner organs and vulnerable places. And breathe! <laughs> so you can be assured that you're still alive. Prepare yourself for an earthquake, there is another way. If you have nothing to stand or bend underneath, all you have to do is just stand next to a door frame. To allow you to warn others that an earthquake is brewing, make sure that you are safe too. However, never be frightened to alarm others. It's, be it's better to be safe than sorry. Okay, so as follow, you need to follow some safety regulations as you approach others. The easiest one to do is to stand under a door frame as we've just explained. This is because it is important that you need to stay in an area that is easy to stay in. It's an earthquake, get up! Get up! Okay, so what we have shown you is all ways that you can keep safe during an earthquake. So now we'll show you some short and long term courses for an earthquake. Yeah! So one thing you can do that's long term to help for an earthquake is to stock up on your food. So you can buy tin canned food or high energy food that you can stock up in case you are in an earthquake and you're trapped with no access to any shops or anything. So instead of being Livia here, who is eating away at everything and not saving any of her food, you can be like Claire here, who has bought some tin canned food and is storing them in her cupboard for later when an earthquake happens and eating away all the food that she knows won't last long. So yeah. So if you are stuck in an earthquake, it's always wise to keep a bag here with everything you need in it. For example, in this bag we could keep a bottle of water. We could also keep a tin can of food that will last for a long time along with a tin opener. We will also add a candle with um, a match, a match, so in case it's really dark we know at least where we are. If not a candle you can also bring a torch. A good, we could also have a good bar of cereal or something that will last a very long time. Something like this. And we can also have some clothing like this jumper which will always keep us warm if we do not have enough clothes. So make sure you always keep a bag full of everything you need in somewhere in your room or in your house so that if you are in trapped somewhere in your house you have this to keep you alive. So basically what I'm going to show you is now a building, i.e. Livia, which is built so that it's not good for an earthquake. 
so its foundations are not built to move with the current of the earthquake. So, here. It's an earthquake! Ah! Now, I'm going to show you a building that is built to withstand an earthquake, and its foundations move with the current of the earthquake. It's an earthquake! So I hope we've taught you enough about how to protect yourself from earthquakes and I hope you've learned a lot to save yourself. Bye! Bye! Bye. Now for some bloopers. Yeah. <laughs>